What's happening folks? Welcome to another episode of Street Notes. I'm particularly excited about today's episode because I got a higher than average amount of photos that I like or at least keepers that I would post to Instagram. Starting off in this little pop-up park in the middle of Denver. I've been here before, you'll have noticed pictures of this band in the last episode as well. And I was making my way around the park pretending to photograph the band more than anything else and while I was doing that, I framed these three girls in the bottom of the frame, and this may even be one of my favorites of the day. The wind's blowing the blonde girl's hair. I really like that, and the two girls on either side are doing different gestures. There's that mural by Detour that is sort of cut off at the side of the, the screen there. I just think it's, I like the colors in this scene and the gestures at the front. I think it's really nice. Shortly after that, I noticed this like blue building and a guy wearing mostly blue over here and there just happens to be on the left of the frame a woman with a blue dress walking along. So I try to sort of get to where I need to be in advance. And I did time it fairly well. I quite like this, although I didn't properly frame it so that the blue awning was actually in the frame. However, there's still something about this that I like, so. It's, it's not terrible. I've seen this guy before, uh, a few times before, smoking his pipe. And I've never got super close to him, but this time I just made my way around and he didn't look like he was gonna keep smoking it, so I just asked him if he would let me photograph him while he puffs on it. I didn't set it up or anything, I just asked if I could photograph him, and he did. The wind was kind of blowing a little bit too much. And this was the photo that I liked from it. You can see the smoke coming out there. There's not a lot. The wind was really blowing away quite quickly. It's closer to a portrait than I am comfortable with, I guess, just because I like asked him if I could do it and then he did that action because I asked him. Um, but it didn't look like he was going to actually smoke the pipe, so um, it feels a little bit more staged than I like. This couple walking along here, maybe we're deciding where they needed to go and I got the girl gesture in there. She's got this badass looking tattoo sleeve and pointing back down the street. And I just, I like the sleeve and the gesture and the red color. This guy reminded me of maybe Jordan Klepper or someone like that. And you can see the tattoos on his arm there, like almost like a slightly unruly businessman type. Got a busy corner, I'm just kind of photographing as I go through here. Got some primary colors in there, which was uh, the frame lines primary colors theme. I didn't have that in mind, but since I shot it, it might fit in with that theme. I've always noticed this like mirrored, like, uh, what is it, a mosaic? And I've never really made anything of it before. I haven't tried again for a while. But I thought I would hang around and just mess with it for a bit. So I'm moving around, I move the little the, the mirrored things a couple times and just try to find sort of an abstract composition with it. I end up using one of the higher up ones and shooting slightly angled downwards. And I quite like this because I've got the, the mirrored mosaic thing sort of cutting off the side of the frame. It creates this graphic element that's a little bit weird to look at. You're not exactly sure. I mean, I guess now that you've seen the video, it's pretty obvious, but these people moved through. This guy walked out in front. We've got that building with the eyes out the front that I've always taken pictures of. Uh, someone coming through with a red skirt on on a bike and also a guy with a red top. And I think that's quite nice, but I also like that there's a mannequin in the upstairs window. I think it fills out that side of the frame. Maybe I'd like something else to be going on within the mirror of the mosaic, but uh, yep, kind of happy with this. Other than having better light, it's, it's cool, I like it. Haven't been doing as many window reflection type shots recently either, so I figured I'd stop at this corner and give it a go while there's a lot of foot traffic passing by. Didn't really think about it at the time, but there's this weird parking meter thing just in the middle of the street, nowhere near a parking space. Um, and apparently it's for some kind of donation thing. But worked this scene for a minute, didn't get anything amazing. But again, these are, these are okay.
guy coming from the left here carrying an um, ironing board. I guess he just came out of Target. I always take pictures of people carrying random things like that. It's not a good picture, but it's, uh, it's random. So I photographed it. And then I did this sort of like kick thing to try and, um, I guess, get a better grip of it. Again, not a good picture, but random gesture. Now here, this bus passed me a second ago and then clearly it was going too fast or not paying attention because he hit this girl who appears to have been dressed for a wedding or something like that. And there was a few people waiting around. It seemed like she was okay. As she's getting up here, she sort of turned around to everybody and said she's fine. Um, she did look shaken though, but everybody started walking on because it seemed like she was just gonna carry on uh, to wherever she was going. This guy with the hat was in the last episode. I mentioned that he would have been a good portrait subject. And funnily enough, that other guy that was sitting on that plant pot, you'll see here, actually decides to stop the guy and take a portrait of him. Probably did a better job than I would because I'm just not into street portraits enough as I have blabbed on enough about. Um, not actually sure who this guy is either. I uh, didn't speak to him because he was so engrossed in his portraits and uh, I'm sure someday I know probably knows him though. Coming back down towards this bus, I realised that it's still sitting in the same spot, which means that that girl probably was not really okay and was hurt more than it seemed at first. And some groomsmen had showed up and they were looking pretty pissed off with this bus driver, understandably. I got a couple photos as I came up close and I like this second one because the bus kind of splits the frame in half and the window creates another element. There's the reflection of the rest of the city behind and there's three hands in the center of the frame that I quite like as well. And you can see the guy on the left looking understandably pissed off at this bus driver as well. Another busy looking corner. Nice thing is that Denver's kind of coming back to life even though this was a Thursday, it was quite busy. And I like this picture for the, the two people in kind of matching colors on the left. Uh, there's two people in the distance that fill out the middle of the frame. Got that weird parking meter thing there again. The two people facing away from me are wearing roughly the same color. And the one person on the right fills out the frame and is doing kind of an interesting gesture with her hand as well. Oh, and the guy in the red on the left is also doing a gesture. So this is a very complicated looking frame. It's not great, but I, I kind of like it for all those little details. Guy on a skateboard coming past here and some nice color blocks in the background with the bus and that food thing. I love this patch of light on the side of this Walgreens and there's a guy with the red shorts passing through and a guy comes just in front of me with his baseball cap on. I wish maybe he had just been slightly further back so that his cap wasn't touching the guy with the red hair's head. But I still like this picture because of the guy in the red there and then on the left there's a guy in blue and he's sort of turning back and the light's catching his face. I got one more frame here but it's not as good because there's not, nothing on the left filling it out and the guy on the right is kind of like chopped off. This couple were standing just in the light and I took one pass and didn't really get anything. And then I sort of floated around them for a minute. They kept chatting away and they just were ignoring me. So I went past again. And just as I went past, this guy does this gesture and the woman pulls her mask down. And I really like this and I don't really know why. It's just, I guess it's just gestures is the only reason and the nice light. About a block away on this corner, these people were just kind of hanging out in this area, uh, both of them on their phones, unrelated to each other. But I've never seen people hanging out in there in this kind of way, and I, sort of, I like this. I don't usually go for the backlit photos like this, and you know, the girl in the pink is kind of in the shadow, but something about it I still kind of like.
I always like to take a walk through this little spot on Larimer whenever I can. Sometimes there's interesting things, but quite rarely. It's often very quiet at this point. Or if it is busy, it's just people eating and it's not necessarily interesting to photograph. I realize this umbrella thing has some potential if I can make use of these like tassel things that hang off of it. And I think the background's a little busy, so I need to come back here and figure it out. But I do like how the straw things look in the foreground though, so uh, I'll keep playing with this. I've seen this guy on this bike before and I think it looks awesome and today is the first time I've really been walking when I saw him. I usually see him when I'm in the car. Uh, this first shot doesn't really work out. I get a second one as I'm walking up to him as well uh, but it's a little bit wide and he's leaning on that lamp post so that it doesn't fall over I guess. So it doesn't, he's not really well enough defined but the light's still good here and as I get closer um, I thought he was looking at me but it was just looking down the street. Um, and I told him I loved his bike, but I don't think he could actually hear me because of all the traffic. Uh, but I do love this photo. It's the kind of weird perspective, like a person's not usually that high up with the walk sign. You can't exactly tell what bike he's on, which, which is a shame, but there's still something about this that I really like. And that perspective of the street behind him, I think looks cool. So this was a nice way to end that day of shooting. I'm pretty excited about the amount of photos that I got that I actually like in this episode. I've been in a bit of a rut for a while and finally I'm feeling pretty good about some of the pictures that I've been able to make. And to be honest, this little Ricoh GR, the colours from this thing are absolutely wild. I'm not editing these pictures. I'll, I shoot it in camera with positive film and it's fantastic. Like I love the way everything looks coming out of this camera, more so than the way anything looks out of any of the Fuji cameras that I've shot or any other camera that I've ever shot. It just is phenomenal. The one bad thing I have to say about this is I really miss the viewfinder at times and I find myself like lifting the camera up uh, as if I want to look through a viewfinder um, and my eyes sometimes get a bit tired sort of straining to look at a screen. Uh, so that's the downside to it, but yeah, other than that, the colours are absolutely wild. As you might have been able to tell, I'm pretty excited about the photos that I got in this video. Uh, I don't necessarily know that any of them were absolute bangers, but there are just a lot of photos that I liked overall. And in the next episode of Street Notes, I think I got my favourite or one of my favourite street photos of all time with this camera. And I still have not I've not put the picture on Instagram or anything. I'm waiting for it till after it goes live on here. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I don't think anybody else will really give a shit, but I'm excited to show other people that picture. And it's funny, I've shot in Denver in the same sort of like 10 block area of Denver for about a year now. I feel like every time I think to myself that I've about worn it out and I don't think I'm seeing anything new something new pops up and I get some pictures that I really love from it so it's nice that it's changing and things still happen uh, within that same exact area but anyways I feel like I should be ending this video by now so thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next episode cheers